Hey everybody, it's Dan Latto speaking. So in this video, I wanna to talk to you about why your success has to begin in your mind first. Hey everybody, Dan Lasso speaking. So, we're just talking about success, just having a nice coffee with a friend of mine down at the beach. And we're talking about success and about where that starts and how you get successful and all of that good stuff. And I was just expressing how you've got to start your numbers in your head. Like, you've got to be working through the numbers in your business. You've got to be putting them on a whiteboard. You've got to get them down on paper. You've got to have a spreadsheet. You've got to look at the numbers, you've got to work through the numbers, you've got to ask yourself where the gaps are, what have I missed, what have I not seen, what's going to catch me out. And using these numbers, that will dictate how successful you're going to be and what your life's going to look like. And I see that most people don't run these numbers for just say things like, I'm going to be wealthy, I'm going to be a millionaire, I'm going to be a successful business owner. And it's like, what does that even mean? What are the numbers for you to be successful what are the numbers for you to be a millionaire what does a successful business look like what do those numbers say they're going to actually be and most people haven't got a clue because they've never actually sat and worked them out and when you start working them out you slowly persuading your brain but actually you know what these numbers are realistic because you're writing down these numbers and now you're starting to quantify the numbers so like we did this last week on a property, it's a 70 grand property, 17,000 pound to, um, it would be the deposit on that, plus the stamp duty and the fees. Okay, 17 grand, how do you get 17 grand? Well, 1,700 times 10, uh, or 850 times 20 months. Okay, so how can, how can you generate 70, uh, 1,700 pounds a month? So you can buy this property in 10 months. So if it's 1,700, uh, a month, which is 17,000. That's 10 clients at 170 quid, great. Or it's 17 clients at 100 pounds. Go find yourself 100 clients, do coaching, 17 uh, clients every single month. You've now got uh, one deposit per property every 10 months. But the only reason you can even get to that and understand that is because you've actually run the numbers. And the numbers start in your head. Yes, the numbers have to go onto paper and have to go onto a whiteboard and have to go into an Excel spreadsheet and so on and so forth. But you calculating these numbers, getting comfortable with, with these numbers. Some people go, £1,700, I can't save that. And maybe on your existing income, you can't. But can you start a business that's going to generate you know, £1,700 a month? Yeah, of course you can. We've just done it. 17 clients at £100 a month. Uh, £100 an hour for coaching. You can do that. Every, everyone can do that. It's not even that difficult to do. So everyone now has access to it. Is it maybe difficult creating that additional income? Maybe, but it's doable, right? It might not be doable in month one. It might not even be doable in month 10, month, month 20. But two years into this, you're gonna start doing it and you're gonna start saving this money and you're gonna start getting on, onto the property ladder and start building your wealth. And most people go, two years? I don't wanna wait two years. I want, it, I want it now or not at all, which is crazy. Because in 10 years time, you're well ahead of everybody else. And this is the bit that people kind of don't understand or don't want to appreciate. That if, if you're not doing this, and if you're not planning for the next 10 or 20 years, you'll never be successful at anything. How long does it take you from starting zero to get into the Olympics? 14 years? I don't know. Oh no, I want to go next year. No one can do that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No one can do that. You have to plan this out, and you plan this out and you run the numbers again and again and again. Before I bought my first property, I ran these numbers about a million times. I just ran them again and again and again because I couldn't work out why more people weren't doing it. And it took 20 years to get to a point, really, probably not 20 years, maybe 15 years, to get to a point where we're like, we can really feel the difference. Most people don't want to wait that amount of time. They want it now. And unless it's now, I don't want it at all. It's crazy, it doesn't make sense. So that hopefully explains why the success takes place in your mind first. And I hope that's useful for you. We'll catch up with you on the next video. My name's Dan Latter. Take care.